Hi. Today, I'd like to talk about Mako, which is collision avoidance test bed for maritime domain. This demo will show the motivation and how the test system works. Now begin. Imagine you deploy the autonomous surface vehicle, ASV, and want to have an autonomous decision-making capability. How can we test the collision avoidance, particularly under dynamic traffic scenarios in the aquatic domain? Moreover, we have a question that if the autonomous agent took an action, for example, turn to the left in the given scenarios, why did it actually happen? Can you explain and conduct analysis? With this idea, in the long run, can you make a better motion planning decision making system based on the tested bed so that we can contribute to the high society impact, such as autonomous shipping, environmental monitoring? With the proposed uh, test bed Marco, we have the following contributions. First, we built a system using the rule based logical agent. Two, the Marco system works as a test bed not only for the offline platform, but also for the online rear robots. Three, it has an adaptive decision making based on the multi objective optimization built with the traffic law. Achieve the autonomous capabilities and the test behavior as ASP. Marco supports both the real robot and the simulated robot on the same compatibility. Here, we are showing the Cosmite ASP as a control vehicle and the obstacle while we show a demonstration of the hazard situation. Now, the simulated environment are spawned with the two vehicles and head-on begins. We have an assessment module to check whether the risk of collision actually exists or not. In this visualization, the control vehicle detects the obstacle within the range sensor, blue circle, when the red obstacle enters. Marco can be configured that which parameters are to be used. In this scenario, we look at the closest point of approach, which is CPA, time to CPA, and relative bearing which are well-used parameters by human-driven vessel too. Once the risk of collision is found to exist, Marco system returns the optimal action output by using the pretty optimal based multi-object optimization. The final output is desired heading and speed magnitude. So among the candidate actions, Marco select the best output located at the final frontier. In this demo, we'll make the ASP avoid the obstacle. The green plot shows the cost of the feasible actions and the red star represents an optimal desired output. The black area represents the actions which the ASP is not supposed to take. For example, the marker says the 90 degree of the action is to be avoided as it will collide with the obstacle on the front. After the ASP clears out the obstacle, it goes back to the original destination. We can observe that CPA, DCPA, and bearing plots behave differently. In other words, no collision track such as a CPA near zero compared to the non-action example we saw beforehand. So, we might have a question. Does Marco give only single answer for the decision making? Many users and ASP have different objectives. So we can have a different combination of the objectives such that different actions follow accordingly. Let's take a look at this crossing from the left side scenario. As for the rules of the road, colleague, our vehicle located on the right side of the obstacle is supposed to maintain the action while the obstacle needs to avoid. Now, Marco can give a more tricky problem as obstacle not taking any action, which happens a lot in the reality. The vehicle above is modeled as a larger vessel such that it has a large inertia and is constrained with the change of the speed. Therefore, it changes the course to the right side to avoid the obstacle. On the other hand, the vehicle below is modeled as a smaller boat or ASB such that it can have more flexibility of changing the speed. It reduces the speed and wait for the obstacle to pass by. In the end, both actions could avoid the obstacle while they have different objectives. 
when the giveaway vehicle is not taking a proper action, our vehicle, despite stand-on status, started to execute evasive action in a defensive manner. Can we get that reasonable weights on the objectives with the Marco? Marco supports automated Monte Carlo simulations with the following different iteration of capabilities. Number of obstacles, type of encounters, behavior such as non-compliance of the rule, and different planner in addition to the vehicle's dynamics. After the best parameters found, Marco can deploy the vehicle in interest into the historical traffic data environment. Here the demo shows one of the heaviest traffic in the world, Singapore Strait. Now we want to demonstrate one of the core parts in Marco system. In the given scenario as a head-on, while slightly the encounter angle is different, Marco can return two different behaviors. First, the left side action is complying with the traffic regulation by turning to the right even if the obstacle does not change in an action. Next, the right side action is more interesting. Even if the rule complied action suggests that ASP turns to the right, Marco chose the left turning action and it is more efficient because of the amount of turning angle and then safe enough to pass the obstacle still. To be specific, Marco supports the following hierarchical decision tree such that the resultant action can be adapted. In other words, ASB can choose to be colleague compliant, defensive action which does not consider colleague, or harmonized action between the rule compliant and defensive action. Finally, we demonstrate the ultimate use case of Marco. Marco can be tested on a real robot under the compatibility with the same you know, configuration parameters. In this crossing from the left scenario, we just saw from the simulation, the obstacle as a giveaway vehicle does not take a proper action. You can see the motion state has been changed from the waypoint following mode to the normal avoidance mode. Therefore, the control ASP assess the risk of collision and initiate the evasive action despite its stand-on status. According to the rule and efficiency, the ASP decided to turn to the right. The ASP safely clears the obstacle and finds it to safe to adjust the heading back to the original course. And the situation ends. In conclusion, we developed and demonstrated the Marco test pass system for explainable AI decision making. It is consists of a multi-object optimization framework built within the maritime traffic regulations. This supports the high societal impact and reduces the accident not only by simulating the vehicle but also tested compatibility with the real robot platform. Based on this decision-making testbed, we can further answer the questions in another domain, aside from the maritime domain. Moreover, Marco can contribute to the online decision-making and analysis of the past event, such as a vehicle accident. Thank you for watching our video.